I'm Robin Koval. I'm Linda Kaplan Thaler. And, and you're, you're watching, watching JBO TV. So maybe you just started an after school club or a company and you're thinking, oh my goodness, this is all so freaking hard. Well, here's what you're not going to do. You're not going to crawl into a ball and ugly cry, and you're not going to turn into a dragon and blow fire out of your face every time someone asks you, how's it going? But here's what you can do. You can go from grit to great, and here's how you can do it. Meet awesome authors, Linda Kaplan Thaler and Robin Koval. Once a day, even if it's just for half an hour, take all the devices, put them aside, and just think. The way to come up with great ideas, the way to focus on what you're really, really trying to achieve is to be committed to it, even for half an hour a day. The largest growing population in this country are people in their hundreds. So make up a hundred year plan. So what if something takes you 20 or 30 years? You're probably going to have five or six careers by the time you reach a hundred. And remember, when you're 98, to write me a thank you note. The trick to really having grit is to do things. We have a great saying in the book, now is the time and we are the people. Rather than going to a meeting and saying, you know what, we need to meet next week to decide this, don't let anybody leave the room. Brainstorm now, come up with a plan now, lock the doors until you have a solution. That's the way to use grit to get it done. You know, we talk in the book about a, a man who was a Navy SEAL and he teaches cadets and he said that's the most important way to start your day because you will have started by doing something small perfectly. You can't do the big things perfectly until you can do the small ones. Try buttoning your clothes with the other hand. Put your tie on it a different way. Walk to work a completely different way. Just breaking those little habits allows you to see the world in a way that you're just not seeing it when you go through your everyday routine. You're doing a presentation, videotape yourself. See what you're doing wrong, what could you improve? Just taking 30 minutes more will perfect whatever it is that you're presenting the next day. And you'll see, you'll shine. Mentally fire yourself. Fail your final exam in your head. Think about what the scariest thing that could happen to you is, and then make a plan. What would you do? And you know what? That plan B is going to be 10 times better than your plan A. Looks so good today. You look okay. Just don't flatter yourself. No matter what your Aunt B told you or your mother telling you how perfect you are, none of you are really that special. And if you go in with that great attitude, you will know that in order to achieve success, you're going to have to work harder and prepare more than anybody else. It's going to work. You know, the next time you have an opportunity or something comes your way and you start thinking, oh, I'm not really qualified for that, forget it. If somebody's offered you something, they probably think you are qualified. And even if you're not, just the act of going through it gives you confidence to convince yourself and to convince somebody else that you can, and you'll learn it on the job. Don't think for one second that you as an individual cannot change the world. You can. Start with a can-do attitude and make sure that whatever you've learned in life, you can pass it on. Thank you, Linda and Robin, for your awesome advice. And thank you so much to everyone on your team for participating in this video. And to my intern, Ben Shapiro, I'm really going to miss you. You've been amazing to have on the team. To the Lively Group, thanks for hosting us today. You guys are the best. And if you like this video, you can comment below, give us an idea for our next top 10 list, and you can show us some love by clicking the thumbs up button, and you can subscribe right down there too. We'll see you next time.